I'm Alessandra Branca, the designer for El Decor's Designer Visions at Walker Tower. The space is fantastic. This is a historic, great 1929 building. We wanted Alessandra, we knew she could play with history, but make the apartment really modern and colorful. I believe in multitask rooms. I think that the more life you bring to a room, the more interesting it becomes, and the more character it gains. We thought we'd do an open plan, but include antiques and modern furniture, very comfortable upholstery. We really wanted to be able to encourage the old and new. One of the things I love about Alessandra's apartment is the way she's tied together so many different patterns and colors. As you come into our space, we took an entrance hall. We painted a stripe, the Bronca stripe, horizontally on the walls with Benjamin Moore. As you go into the living room, you have a center table. And the idea of the center table is sort of to reset your sense of the space. We have a large, large banquette that sort of hugs the walls. Every single fabric in the space is from my collection for Schumacher. I put a wonderful pair of Louis XVI chairs in our chintz from Schumacher across the way, and I love the play of the chintz and then the velvet of the banquette. We took the space that would otherwise have been the dining room, and we made that into a library because I felt that a home could not really exist without a library. When I first saw the library, I thought she'd paneled it in wood, but of course it's one of her fabrics. It's just an amazing thing and a great effect. We took a space that would have been used as the breakfast room off the kitchen and we chose to make that into the dining room. We did that by creating a tented room and we did window treatments on all four sides. We can now take this room and just kind of close off the kitchen and you can have hide the dirty dishes and all the preparation and have a wonderful dinner in a tented room. One of the things we had fun doing was working with wonderful accessories from Christophe. We did the silver from them. We did some great plates and dishes that we put throughout the house. This is the master bedroom. The walls are done in our Anna Damask. It's this incredibly soft, amazing, amazing, amazing texture. If you wake up in this room, or you go to bed in this room, it doesn't matter. You're enveloped in sunlight. We have this wonderful four-poster bed by Michael Taylor. We use the Sephara sheets in the sateen because I think they feel amazing. The end tables are by Arteriors. They're gilt brass with antique mirror. And what was great there is that you reflect a lot of light off the room and bring a little touch of glamour into a room, uh, which is never a bad thing in a bedroom. We have a pair of 18th century chairs that we upholstered in patent leather in acid green, which is by Moore and Giles, that is just amazing. And it's that pop that you just don't expect. An apartment as exuberant and colorful as this one needs a dramatic closet. And this one comes courtesy of California Closets, and we filled it with Roberto Cavalli. So well, here we are in the guest room, this wonderful hidden sapphire blue lacquered wall. She decided to play with this color hidden sapphire by Benjamin Moore, which is a dark and a, almost a moody blue it gives it a modernity which you would not achieve by using a sort of flatter color. The light fixture I sort of thought was fun. It's from Cristorama. And then we did a red velvet sofa. It's from my collection um, in a Schumacher fabric. The lamps are from Arteriors. They're white, wonderful play of the white against the blue. The halls on the second floor are in a dark taupe called Coachman's Cape by Benjamin Moore. And the daughter's bed. It's very rich. It really grounds all the other bright colors in the room. I like to play neutrals against color because I think that the more often you play those two, the more interesting both of them can be. I think it's a very El Decor apartment. The use of dark colors against the brights. She's really taken some signature El Decor elements and given them a really fun new life. One of the things that really impresses me about this apartment is a young family could move into this apartment right away. I find that the best design is done when you take into consideration the person for whom you're designing. In the end, really all I care about is that the person's happy as they walk in. That's all that matters.